Hello and good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Elder Care's weekly webinar series. I am Adrian Ostris. I'm the digital marketing director here at Elder Care. I am super excited about today's topic, and I see a lot of familiar names on here this morning. Thank you so much for for always being here with us every Thursday. I do see some new names on here, so welcome. I hope that you enjoy your first uh, Thursday training with us. We like to keep these short, sweet, to the point. We know that you are busy out in the field selling, and so we don't wanna take up too much of your time, but we do wanna provide you the opportunity to talk um, to our special guest live. So as always, we want this to be a conversation and not a presentation. So please find the question box, give us a good morning, tell us where you're at, because this product is in multiple states. So go ahead and comment your states, Give us a good morning that you can hear and see everything. And without further ado, I would love to introduce our special guest. We have Corey Jones with Bankers Fidelity. Corey will be sharing valuable insights about their Medicare supplement plans. So don't miss out on this very informative session and comment any questions you might have for Corey, because this is going to be the best time to get them answered. Good morning, Corey. Hey, good morning, Adrian. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you and thank Elder Care for the opportunity to join you. Really looking forward to sharing a little information about Bankers Fidelity, who we are, what we do, and how we um, look to earn your business. So um, my name is Corey Jones. Yeah, I love uh, the conversation. Yeah, we have people saying good morning. We have people in North Carolina, Arkansas, Illinois. There's some more coming through. Fantastic. Yeah, all over. Fantastic. Where are you at, Corey? Um, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. We're at headquarters. So um, you'll learn from the presentation. We're in 46 states uh, in D.C. Wow. And I work with agents and agencies um, coast to coast. So um, we are an agent focused company. Um, we look forward to your call and helping you uh, succeed. Um, it's cliche. Your success is our success. But um, yeah, welcome your business. Welcome uh, the opportunity to, to work with you. But again, thank you, Adrian, for the opportunity. Um, got some great stuff to share with you. Again, who we are, what we do. Um, Corey Jones, I'm the Senior Director of Partner Relations with Bankers Fidelity. Been here about 10 years, worn a few hats, and um, yeah, love the partnership we have with Elder Care, um, which we've probably had about you know eight to 10 years. So I wanna dive it's right into the presentation. Time. <laughs> I want to dive into the presentation, but welcome you to stop me, Adrian, please. I'll get on my uh, horse or, you know, definitely chat questions, uh, large or small, can really answer anything you might might need. So, um, this presentation going, you can see a quick agenda. I want to briefly tell you about who we are, the Banker's Fidelity story, briefly go over our product portfolio, uh, really dial into Medicare Supplement and our exciting new charter. So if you've done business with us or any other carrier, um, you know about the difference in charters and companies. So we got a new one. Um, briefly talk about our eApp, and of course, hopefully invite you to our sales leaders conference that are um, industry best. So Bankers Fidelity. So we're over 65 years old, headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia. If you've been here, um, we're in North Atlanta. We have a Peachtree Road address right in Brookhaven. Um, again, next to Oglethorpe University, if you know the area. Um, we're A minus rated, proud of that rating. Um, we fight every day and that's a, uh, that's a um, really a compliment and a tribute to our, to our staff. Um, it, takes, it takes a team and whether it's our policyholder service team or claims team or, or this marketing team and agents like yourself, um, you're the reason we carry that, that, that A and minus best rating. Um, as I told you earlier, we're licensed in 46 states in DC. Our MedSup products in a, about 30, a little bit of over 30 states, and we'll look at those specifically. Our portfolio, who we are, what we do. Our bread and butter is Medicare supplement. Um, we'll spend really the majority of this uh, call on Medicare supplement. But of course, if you have questions about our other products, happy to help there or, or take it offline. We offer short-term care insurance. So that's a skilled nursing facility policy. It also has a home health care rider. Um, final expense insurance. We all know what life insurance is. Uh, we have a, a new lump sum cancer product and a hospital indemnity product that we're very proud of and we fill our industry best as well. 
So Bankers Fidelity, that's our brand, who we are, what we do. And you can see our three charters and companies. We formally, informally call them, uh, informally call them BFLIC, BFAC, and ACLAC is our new charter. So you're probably familiar with Bankers Fidelity Life Insurance, Bankers Fidelity Assurance, and I'm gonna to touch on ACLAC, our brand new Medicare Supplement Charter. Some of the uh, enhancements and improvements of um, really our maturation is a new roommate household discount. That seems to be a trend in the industry. It's something we didn't have. We used to have a uh, multi-policy discount. So we're really uh, conforming that. Where the states will allow us, really everywhere but three states, um, a household discount. Uh, it'll be 7 percent across the board. Uh, we're one of the few carriers that offers not only preferred but standard rates, hopefully both competitive. Um, obviously, a uh, standard rate might be a tobacco user or perhaps a bill that's, um, that's out, of, uh, out of preferred range. The plans we offer, A, F, G, high deductible G, K, and N, pretty standard. What we've done and um, what we've really tried to do with this new charter is do um, some creative rating. Um, we updated our underwriting, tightened it up, and of course that allows us to be super competitive and I hope you agree. We're doing five digit zip code area rating. So some states are what? Um, north, south, east, west, it's all gonna be the same rate. Um, some states are three digit uh, zip code rating. We've done five digit zip code rating. So you'll have one to maybe three areas where we actually dial into the specific zip code on your street or in your neighborhood. Um, one time policy fee, pretty standard. And just a little disclaimer, rate classes, discounts, plans, availability, you know, vary by state. Product availability map. Um, you know, I'll touch on this a little bit so you can kind of see where our Medicare supplement footprint is. Um, just three colors, right, for our three charters in three states. Um, you can see our newest charter is in red. So we have seven states currently. We're working on COA, Certificates of Authority, and pricing as you speak. So hopefully that number doubles probably in the next uh, two to three months. Our that's original great. and first... Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's very exciting. I mean, everyone that commented, like Arkansas and North Carolina, all have the new charter. Um, in Texas, I know some of you, you didn't say your state, but I know you're in Texas, <laughs> are going to get that new charter. So that's exciting. Yeah. Um, Bankers Fidelity Assurance Company, BFAC, we call it. Again, you can see that in the dark blue states. And you can see also, obviously, Bankers Fidelity Life in the gold states. Those are being, uh, those are few in between because of the launch and pricing of the new competitive plans and products in the states, as you see. So reach out to me, reach out to the team if you have questions. You know, I have people in Tennessee saying, when are you coming? So, you know, <laughs> we're working on it. And typically my answer I'll give you is, hey, we're, we're, we're approaching, we're looking at first quarter, maybe second quarter, we're gonna get that product in for uh, AEP. So we look forward to working with you, growing with you, and uh, even have some sample rates they can kind of take a look at. So I know agent, I was once an agent, I've been 25, gosh, 25 years plus in the business. I always think I'm new to Medicare because it is ever changing and we're, we're learning every day as, and to change with it. But mm -hmm. I did wanna put some rates up so you can get an idea. We have preferred and standard rates and you can see I just took a snapshot of um, our OOC and rate sheet. And you can see the plans available. Um, you can see the issue age community rating in, in Arkansas. Um, and one thing I wanted to show you on the next page is what that zip code area, uh, zip code area chart looks like. So uh, numerically ordered, you're going to look at the zip code. You're going to identify whether it's an area one or area two rate and go to your rate sheet. And um, of course, area one rates are going to be the most competitive um, okay. with our rate sheets. Yeah, you'll see preferred standard rates and it's real easy to um, identify where you're um, what rate your client might be on so okay if anyone's interested in getting these rate sheets for your state please comment and let me know so i can get them to you pretty quickly um again some snapshots at rates 
and again, hopefully um, you're not taking my word for it, it really is competitive. You'll see us on most quoting platforms and tools um, come up, and I should bring it up, but it's we're still going to bra um, brand ourselves as Bankers Fidelity, um, but you'll also see Atlantic Capital Life Assurance Company, which is our brand new charter we bought, and we're both bringing to the market and excited about it. Um, MedSup and Medicare, you'll probably agree with me, is the foundation of a lot of agents' business and marketing plans. Yes, we love our ancillary lines, but a lot of times what? We have to answer the Medicare question first. So we're here for it and um, look forward to earning your business. You can see some Arizona rates here. I'm publishing our Mississippi rates. Again, these are the female preferred non-tobacco. So obviously it's going to be most, most competitive rates. Yeah, less than $100 for that plan G. And again, excited about the opportunity to change our household discount. If you've done business with us before, thank you. Um, we used to have what, where you would have to have two policies in the household. Now, again, we have that roommate definition kind of industry standard. Really strong rates in Georgia. Oh, Michael was asking about Georgia. There you go, Michael. <laughs> New Mexico, we've gone to market. <laughs> we've seen some good traction in North Carolina as well. Are these rates including the household or yeah including the roommate discount they are not they are not oh okay that's good news <laughs> yeah so it's even, finally, it would be even lower <laughs> finally texas great question and please let me know if i need to go back to anything or you have any questions off script um it wouldn't be a product presentation without talking a little bit about underwriting. Uh, Medicare is pretty clean, clear cut, right? Um, I talk to agents about the questions on the application, um, medications, you know, and then really a build chart. So what we do at Bankers Fidelity is we have product specific underwriting guides. Again, here's a snapshot of what our underwriting guide looks like for Medicare supplement. We do um, use Milliman, and again, that's become a standard in the industry. A snapshot of our declinable medications. This is not all of them, but some of them, but we'll not only have disqualifying medications, but we might have um, medications that knock you out of preferred rating. So you, you might take a drug, and of course, you won't qualify for preferred, but you'll qualify for our competitive standard rate. We do look forward to working with you. There's always exceptions. There might be a medication you're taking that is not for something that we're looking for. So we'll take doctor's notes and, and work with you and, and put you in touch with an underwriter if we can't answer your question. That's always good. Is there a direct underwriter's number? You'll find out, yeah. We, we'll put you in touch with an underwriter. We have a dedicated agent support team. If you can't get me, you'll definitely get them. Um, they do this every day they do a great job i think it's one of the hardest jobs in the building i've been there done that uh but again they, they they look forward to taking calls from agents and what helping them write business it's about placing business with us learning how to write with us uh getting acclimated to maybe logging in i always say logging into the portals half the battle and then um from there it's you know we, we've done that um so yeah if, if our agent support team can't answer your questions or help you pre-qualify a case We'll reach out to an underwriter or put you in touch. Absolutely. Um, our build chart, again, this is a um, unisex build chart, but we do have this for preferred standard ranges and we have this for all of our products. Um, briefly talking about enrollment, and if Adrian would like, I could go into our platform or we could you know, do one-offs, but we have an e-app integrated into our agent portal. Our agent portal is called ads. Um, the unique identifier all our agents use to get logged into the portal is their individual NPN. So I know a lot of agents 
a point with their company or just as their um, their individual, but we're going to ask for the individual NPN to be your username every day of the week. You dedicate your password. Once you log into the portal, you'll have access to obviously reports, um, our underwriting app tracker, or track your business. Um, you can go to the library, pit, print any application form or brochure. Speaking of brochures, our creative team does a great job, so we, we will pay for your supplies as far as sales brochures. You can do online orders. You can do that with, again, from the click of a mouse, or you can reach out to the team and just ask us to send you something. Um, again, buyer's guide, sales brochures, outlines of coverage, what have you. Um, and most importantly, our e-app, which gives you signature options of face-to-face. -face. So you're on your laptop or tablet, you're passing the controls to your uh, client to DocuSign, point and click. You can email that DocuSign application uh, or you can text it to them to electronically DocuSign. Um, we're looking at more signature options, uh, voice signature, et cetera. So, you know, stay tuned for some of those enhancements as we uh, get those integrated and approved. Uh, clients are gonna use the last four of their social to access their DocuSign. And if you're familiar with it, it's a, it's a couple points and click, you know, maybe a replacement form, definitely a bank draft form, and of course the application. Excited about our billing options. We are a company that really, I say our billing sometimes too flexible. Um, I guess it should be noted, if you use the e-app, you do need an electronic form of payment. If you're one of those um, agents or have a client that wants to send in a check, especially initially, you're gonna to wanna to do a paper, a paper application, which we gladly accept. But the e-app requires an electronic form of payment for either the initial um, payment, for especially the initial payment. If you wanna do bill direct, that's fine. Uh, but of course we accept all major uh, um, credit cards. Um, there is a 3% load, I believe, on credit cards, but no, no fees, no extra fee for bank draft, of course. Uh, we can do draft schedule, which is kind of tied to social security billing, I think it's called, where they can automatically be pick their draft day of the month. And then, of course, we talked about payment options, whether it's, you know, bank draft, credit card check, money order, really anything but cash. And I see a typo. I apologize. No policy fee. Um, of course, most of our Medicare supplements do have policy fees, so I apologize for that. Here is a snapshot of our e-app. Um, it's, again, going to ask you to put in a little bit of information for your clients. You're putting the birth date. You're putting the zip code. And because we've appointed you in your resident state, we're going to pull in your just-in-time states. And depending on what birthday and zip code you put in on the first page, we'll pull up the products that are available in that state for that applicant's age. So this person that's 64 aging in will have access to, quote, cancer, hospital indemnity, short-term care, final expense, really everything, and Medicare supplement. You can see the screen here. It's a quoting tool, our e-app. And if and when you find the product, you just add to cart. You can see in this cart are all five products. You can see that the monthly premium is 320 for this. I don't know. I'd call it this a grand slam from an agent if you sell these products. So, again, really want to hit on our new Medicare supplement charter and rates. When you log in, you'll see this banner. Um, how how you want, if you're currently appointed with Bankers Fidelity, you do need to sign an addendum to get this charter added to your writing, writing numbers. You'll get a new writing number. Upon logging in, as you can see in the picture, you'd go to the My Profile tab, right next to the Tools and EAP tab. Go to Contract and Compensation, Request a New Company, point and click and DocuSign, and we'll get that writing number out to you. That's pretty simple. And then if you're not already contracted with Bankers Fidelity, you know, please reach out to us after this training so we can get you set up 
uh, with this Medicare supplement carrier. Thanks, Adrian. We have a helpful cheat sheet that I can share with you and team, Adrian, that helps you add that charter. Um, and this is what it looks like. Follow the instructions to add the new company. Um, we can even do a PDF if you if you don't want to do the electronic one. Yeah, no, we absolutely send it on over. Um, finishing up with the, the presentation, and definitely welcome any questions that you have. Um, we have really an industry best sales conference every year. COVID slowed us down, slowed everyone down, but again, we're back at it. We went to Iceland um, last uh, Labor Day, I believe, and then oh, wow. we're planning to go to Argentina the first quarter of um, 2025. Wow, that's exciting. So the qual tell us more. Tell us more. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't 1099 our agents. Um, again, agent-focused company. You uh, do a lot of hard work, carry our torch out there. We want to reward our top agents with really an all-expense-paid trip for you plus one to come enjoy and uh, celebrate with us. The contest is ongoing. It started last September. And I do standings every month. And Adrian, you can see, <laughs> we're not really marketing this just yet, but it contracted after March 1st, which is pretty much now, and we'll definitely hold that in account. There are prorated um, qualifications. Okay. So we're going to take the top 65 agents, but trust me, there's still room and time to qualify. Um, look at the crediting. If you can see some of the crediting we do on our products, um, you can qualify with, say, hospital indemnity alone. Wow. Finishing up some important contact information. I can again send this to you, Adrian, so you have. Mm -hmm. Can you go back to the like what or the quali what's the time period to qualify? So, was it September? Great question. So yeah, I should have hit on that. September first, twenty twenty three through September thirtieth, twenty twenty four. Okay. So plenty of time. I wonder who's gonna go on that trip. <laughs> he said you can take someone too. Don't forget me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not required, but we, we definitely are going to send out the invitation. So, Okay. Finishing up, here's our contact information. You can see Agent Support is a great resource for you. Um, reach out to them at agentsupport at bflick.com. We have a lot of good information on our website. Although it's consumer facing, there is an agent page for you to find out information about who we are, what we do. And when in doubt, Adrian, call me. Um, I look forward to hearing from you. I love working with agents. Um, and yeah, I, I welcome the opportunity to earn your business. We appreciate that, Corey. Thank you so much. And, and Julie has sung your praises about how responsive you are and you're always there to answer. And so we definitely appreciate that. And I know our agents do. Um, so I know we're almost to time, but we still have a few minutes left and there's still quite a few people on. So please get your questions through um, so I can get them asked. I do see some going through. I know GoToWebinar sometimes has a lag when you're submitting the comments. So go ahead and get them in now so I can work through them. Um, Michael had asked if Bankers Fidelity is on the Medicare Center. So great question, Michael. You can quote Bankers Fidelity and all of their products on Medicare Center. However, the, the direct e-app is not built in yet, but the great thing about um, Medicare Center is it will give you a direct link to their portal so you can log in and do the e-app that way. Uh, Terry had asked um, for the new company, Atlantic Capital. Am I saying that right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. She is asking if they have their own AM Best rating or SMP rating. It, that's a great question. It's under the Bankers Fidelity uh, brand and charter. So all companies have an AM minus, sorry, A minus uh, rating. So feel confident confident with that. Okay, very good. Um, and then 
Terry had also asked, how does the new company do renewal ratings? Is it age banded or class rating? She said, I hope I'm phrasing this correctly. Some companies have a significant age rate increase every five years and some do it by class. Does that make sense? It absolutely does. Okay. And, you know, like like all agents know, it's not that rates go up, it's the rates that they do go up, right? Um, what you'll see on an OCR rate sheet, and we'll pick on Texas, um, you can see these uh, uh, attained age rates. So it's 65, it's 117.50, 117.50, it's 60, 66. So the age increase is is nominal or obsolete there for those early ages so from there all you're looking at for the increase is the claim experience or the operating cost um, we have long wanted to be a single digit rate rate increase company i feel we're back to that with our new underwriting and our competitively priced uh, plans so it depends on the state, Terry. You, you can reach out and um, we can talk about it more specifically. But um, yeah, the, the age increase just depends on the band, like you see. And, it, and it's just one of those factors that goes into the overall percentage. Absolutely, yeah. The state does play a big role in, with Medicare supplements in general. Um, so Terry, we're, we're happy to reach out after this and and explain for your state or states that you're selling in. I know a lot of you sell in multiple states and that sometimes is a lot to keep up with, which is why we're here to help you. <laughs> uh, Michael had asked about older age rates. And so Michael, what we can do, I don't think he has all the rates on here, and, um, but we can definitely get you the rate sheets uh, for Georgia. So you can look at those. Yeah, we, we go, um, I want to say 85, 90, you know, plus, you know, you get to a certain age and all the rates are the same, but we're, we're going to offer it to anyone that wants to apply. Awesome. Very good. Um, I don't see any more questions coming through, but I know that this platform does have a lag. So if you do have any more questions, please comment them for Corey to answer. I do want to throw in there, you know, with this Bankers Fidelity being a Medicare supplement, um, this product qualifies you for elder care's lead program. So if as you're, you know, if you're direct with elder care and you're writing Medicare supplements and you're writing Bankers Fidelity, you know, please reach out to a marketer to talk about the lead program and see what you can be qualifying for. In addition to this amazing trip to Argentina. <laughs> um, Michael was asking, is the hospital indemnity competitive? Um, so if you want to go back to that slide that shows all the products, I'd love to to put the plug in that once you get contracted with Bankers Fidelity, um, it does include all of these products. So you'll have access to all of the products, not just the med stuff when you get contracted. Um, but Michael is asking about the hospital indemnity. Absolutely appreciate it. We're excited about our hospital indemnity. It's about a year old. Uh, we benchmarked it against a lot of the competitors that are have strong products. I think we have the best, and I am, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, skewed on my opinion. We um, have issue ages 18 to 85, and yes, I'm working tirelessly with CSG to get it on the platform. Uh, but we're in about 35 states in the hospital indemnity. I'd love to share it with you. Awesome. Maybe we'll have you back on to talk about because Michael said final expense too. So maybe we'll have you back on to talk about the other products. I love it. <laughs> All right. I I don't see any further questions coming through. So I'm, I'm assuming we did a great job. Oh, Terry's asking. See, that's the thing about GoTo. As soon as I think there's not a question, it comes through. <laughs> uh, Terry asked on the short term nursing confinement plan does that require a long-term care license absolutely not it's simplified um underwriting again preferred standard rates it's a uh, defined benefit period defined benefit amount up to 360 days 300 dollars a day and yeah you could sell that with a health license 
Awesome. That's what's so great about, um, you know, you offering the multiple products with the contract. All righty. Well, I see everyone slowly jumping off. Thank you again, everyone, for taking the time to be here with us this morning to talk about Bankers Fidelity Medicare supplement products, especially the new one. I ju I'm just going to call it Atlantic Capital because I feel like that the rest is just too long. <laughs> I do too. So, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> so Atlantic Capital MedSup is what I'm going to call it <laughs> by Bankers Fidelity. Um, we're excited to be offering that and excited uh, for all of you to to be offering it to your clients. Hope you all have a great rest of your week and we will see you all next Thursday. Thank again. Thanks again, Corey. Thank you too. Take care. Talk soon.